Hey guys, we recently went up to Fort Lauderdale to tour another Choi Lee 43. Now the reason we wanted to see this Choi Lee 43 is the fact that it's catch rigged, it's much cheaper, and it's also much more of a project. And because of that, it might be an opportunity for someone that wants to do a total rebuild on a boat. We do like this boat model. We also wanted to briefly thank Squarespace, which is a website building platform for sponsoring this video, but a little more on that later. Now let's get to the boat tour. So moving forward on the boat, it has three shrouds on both sides. It has a nice high teak tow rail. Ooh, the deck feels really soft right here. So the previous owner pulled up the teak decking that was here because it was in really rough shape and he fared and painted this deck but I would say that in some spots it feels like right here it felt very soft even oh, as I walked I can, on it. I can visibly see that. That's that's really bad. Do that again. The entire yeah no 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 no. This entire deck is soft. Yeah. So I mean he did put a lot of work into refacing. I guess you would say the deck. Well, it's got to be torn up but again. I would suggest that it probably needs to be recorded. Uh, forward here, it kind of drops down. You've got the windlass, you've got two large cleats. You have an area where your anchor chain and road can come into. The main then, anchor is yeah. down here, actually. That's a pretty, it's a pretty serious anchor. And looking back, Oh yeah, the well, whole deck fear, is moving. Fear damage over here, same. And it must have been damage from like the hatch leaking. Well. Or I don't know, maybe from the teak. Oh yeah, I don't know. there was thousands of holes through this yeah. thing. I guarantee you they leaked into the Whoop. plywood core. All right, so here is the main mast. We did say that this was a catch rig, so there's also the mizzen mast further back. How does this look? Ooh, no, I heard that. No, that's soft too. Very soft. That's really bad. Yeah, I definitely think it needs to be recorded. Uh, we have our jib trek. Another midship cleat. Ways for your line to go through the tow rail. This is an entrance through the lifeline. Ventilation for inside the cabin. And as we come back, this is obviously kind of like a pilot house situation and then the cockpit you have to step up into so we have an almost circular cockpit going on here and then there's that mizzen mast it's a very simple wheel right here not many bells and whistles. You have your ladder off the stern. It's a canoe stern. The backstays are running backstays. We also realized the creek war we toured is right at the end there. <laughs> it's right over there. I think it's still for sale. And we can link that video in the info card. So here we have those prisms that we talked about on the last trailer that diffuse light inside the cabin because this actually reaches right down into the cabin. And it's a bit of a project down there, guys. I'm just going to give you this little teaser before we go down under. This is the starboard side. And again, down into the cabin. Randy is gaining entry to the boat. We also have a cradle built in for the boom up here, which is kind of cool because I imagine it eliminates some of the noise when you're at anchor. Now we did tell you and forewarned you that this is a project boat, so prepare yourselves. Dun, 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 dun. Temporary stairs. Uh, those are familiar. <laughs> we know what that's like. 
You don't want to ruin good stairs when you're refitting a boat. But actually, he has the stairs all refinished, so here's the top step and then the steps below, which do look very nice now. So we are in the pilot house. This is your helm station, navigation station. Now before we look at the engine, if you look from here, this is what we love about this boat, is that you have a fully protected 360 degree view all around you. At the nav station back there, or at the helm station, whatever, while you're on watch, you're very protected right here. So this is part of why we love this boat design. And this boat actually has the original engine in it, but it has been rebuilt and it has about three hours on it now. So we're going to go ahead and show you. It's right here. So we'll show you the good before we show you more bad. Down below, I believe this is a 120 horsepower Ford Lehman's diesel with three hours on the rebuild. The owner right now rebuilt the whole thing himself. There are two 300 gallon diesel tanks right next to it on each side. And then there's also two 150 gallon water tanks. And this engine room is so big, you can get down into it and work on everything. So that's pretty cool. Forward or aft, Randy? Let's go aft first. Alrighty. So we actually have nice rebuilt stairs back here. Because he was doing so much engine work, he actually wanted steps to use. Going starboard first. So back here we have what's basically a double berth, or what was a double berth, I should say. But Jordan was thinking that it really would be a great tech room because you also have access to the engine right here. So there's your engine compartment right there. New battery, rebuilt engine. And then looking aft, you've got your completely gutted double berth right here. And yeah, I mean, got it right down to, you can see where wood was tabbed to the hull there and the wood's just been ripped out. So yeah, lots of rebuilding necessary. From here, looking to port, we've got Randy. We've got a wet head. It actually still has like the shower pan and drain and actual shower head in here. No head, but I'm assuming one was in there. All the way aft on the port side, we have a single berth or kind of like a quarter berth back in this area, which we saw from the cockpit above. So I'm gonna get out of Jordan's way real quick. So looking into this cabin, the first thing you see is some storage. Right around that is your single berth. And again, it's gutted. Not very pretty looking right now. So going forward, back through the pilot house yes and it has started to rain so our lighting levels might look a little different but as you can see guys fully protected from the rain yes all right so this has that like split level floor plan that we mentioned the last time we toured one of these boats which we also should link in the info cards um so it has steps in a few different places but you are now in the galley settee area. Reminds me of like an eat-in kitchen. They've refinished some of what's in here. So for instance, the cabinet doors, some of the drawers look like they've been refinished, but it definitely needs a lot of work. Definitely a new countertop, but a lot of the wood around as well. Oh yeah, just everywhere. And this is the main settee behind Randy here. The table's been refinished. But. He's been putting a lot of work into refinishing the sole here. There was a lot of water in the boat when he got it. It was rainwater, but even still any water sitting in a boat for a long time is not a good thing. No. You can just see like all the wood's been ripped out. We know what that's like. Yes, we do. This is one area that he said is something that really needs to be taken out but it just takes a lot to get to that area. Yeah, it's a major bulkhead that's rotted. In these floorboards is a very large bilge area. You can definitely put some goodies down there. <laughs> Heading forward again, 
into like the V berth area. Got some storage right there and some more cabinet doors. So this is like an island berth. There's a lot of oh, so there are sails. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of things stored around here, so it's hard to tell. But yes, it's an island berth. There's tons of storage up around the berth and below the berth. So attached is like your ensuite head. <laughs> so again, the whole liner kind of came up off the floor. So there's that shower liner, shower head, so it's a wet head. It's a big wet head though. It's a big wet head. You can see into the salon. <laughs> there's like a hole right there where there's supposed to be some wood or something. I was just thinking because this is the area on the bow where I was jumping. If you push up on this, I wonder if you can see the flex. Oh, oh no. yeah. 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 No. This this whole deck needs to be rebuilt and record. Yeah. I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. All right, guys, so like I normally do on these boat tour videos, at the end, I'm going to do a continuous below deck walkthrough from bow to stern. So we are still in the V-berth here, guys. Turning aft. And you see the main head. It's a big wet head. Going more aft. Looking to port a little bit. You've got your door for the main cabin. And then you've got a big hanging locker. Going more aft. We're missing a step right there, but no big deal. More storage. That's a different locker. We've got Randy. Stepping up. To starboard, we have the main settee again. We're rotating to port. Got Randy again. and. The galley. Found a fun little cutting board. I want one of these. I like it. That's pretty cool. And going aft again. We've got the pilot house with 360 degrees visibility and protection from the wind and the rain and it actually looks like surprisingly it's not leaking no so the owner did say he re-bed most of the windows that were causing leak issues so awesome and then you have the interior home station right there so going aft looking to port you have the second wet head the single berth and single cabin back here just a small little area to sleep looks kind of like somewhere from a horror film right now but you know looking to starboard we've got your other cabin we've got access to the engine room under there and looking aft we've got your gutted double berth and double cabin now before we get into our thoughts on this boat, we want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that you can use to design your own website. We used it for learningthelines.com because we found it was very simple to use and created a beautiful website. You can use Squarespace to basically DIY anything you want to do with a website. It's really nice and it doesn't require a lot of time because we really don't have a lot of extra time. So, it, you know, it did actually end up working well for us because we were able to quickly design our own website with it. Something I think that they do really well is that they create a mobile experience for each of their designs. That means that even though you create the desktop version, a mobile version is automatically created. This is great because so many people nowadays browse the web on their phones or tablets. Best thing about Squarespace is that you don't have to know how to code at all. Now, I haven't set up an e-commerce store on our website yet, but we'll probably be doing that sometime in the near future, and I know it's just going to be easy and straightforward. If you're interested in building your own website, go to squarespace.com slash learning the lines for a free trial, and when you're ready, use offer code learning the lines for 10% off your purchase of your first domain or website. So now that we're through the sponsored content, Randy, what did you think of this boat? It was really rough. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, whoever gets this boat would have to want to take on a major project. It's going to be a project for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, after feeling how soft the deck was, I would definitely want to get a survey and see what kind of condition the hull itself is in before moving on at all with this project. Yeah, definitely. What did you think of the boat? I mean, I like the boat model. I know, yeah. The thing is, this boat itself is a wreck, you know? I mean, there's there's really no more to say about that. It is definitely a huge project. And I think the right buyer for this boat would have to realize they're basically building a boat from scratch. Yeah, it so, might as well be considered a bare hole. Like, you're going to have to take it down to the bare hole. Yeah. Um, also, though, at least the owner of this boat realizes and acknowledges that and is pricing it pretty well. Yeah, it's it's decently priced. It probably could go a little bit lower. Yeah. Now, I just quickly before we end the video, I just kind of want to take time to kind of paint the picture of the perfect buyer for this boat. Okay. And probably the only buyer for this boat. <laughs> and it's going to be someone that obviously isn't afraid to, to build an entire boat. But it's also probably someone with some land that they can put this boat on so that they're not paying a marina or a boat yard monthly to keep it there. For years, yeah. So, you know, what I would do is I would take it, I would truck it to your own land, and I would work on it for the next five to ten years. <laughs> yeah. And you might be done with it by that time. So that's kind of the perfect owner, someone that's okay with that. You might need to cut off the decks completely rip out the entire interior and just start, like you said, with the like bare hole. bare hole, yeah. Absolutely. No deck even, and just completely rebuild the decks. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. <laughs> it, I mean, I think this would be a decent boat for someone that's willing to put in that time and effort. Yeah. So. And has the property. Because <laughs> you, you don't want to do this in a boat yard. Do not do this in a boat yard. No, that will cost you an astronomical amount of money in the long run. Storing it there, it's just yeah. not worth it. Yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with our journey. And if you want to know each and every time we upload a video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I